Yes. Hello, everyone. It is December 24th, 2009, and Daniel is going to read for us his story. A book. The book. Called The Night Before Christmas. You can sit down, Dom. I'll read this book. Here we go. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while sugar plums danced in their heads. Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn such <coughs> rose such a clatter. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Not on the lawn. <coughs> As I was saying, when out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a lost term of midday to objects love. When one to my out wondering I should appear, but a miniature slang and a tiny reindeer. And the little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagers, his curses they came, and they whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder, and Hudson. Hmm. Hey. Nice to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the flu house, the <laughs> flu, the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my head <laughs> around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and such. A bundle of toys he had flung on his pack, and he looked like a peddler, just like his pack. I mean, just opening his pack. His eyes how twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll in the mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke is, encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Mm. It was a chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And when I laughed at him in spite of myself, a wink of his eye and his twinge of his head soon gave me to know why I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to work, and filled out the stockings and turned with a jerk, and laying his nose aside of his n and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the tinny he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, and to his team gave a whistle, and they away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. The end. Thank you all.